This is Marvel Universe, the Scarlet Spider. The figure is part of the third wave of the 2011 Marvel Universe, or as the packaging says, part of Series, uh, series 3. This is the third uh, wave, from the third wave of the third series of the Marvel Universe figure toy line, or figure line. And, uh, well, folks, I have to say, if you're a big fan of Spider-Man, you're going to love this figure. If you're just a casual Marvel Universe collector who uh, really picks which figures to get, this might be a disappointment for you. So, uh, let's see how the review goes. So, um, let me just stand him up. All right. Okay, let's put them there. Quick look at the packaging. Um, figure stand included. Wow. Uh, they've really gone on, on cutting the costs on, on these new fig newer figures. As you can see, there is no longer the, if you notice, the um, that web accessory that uh, he shoots out that's all done in the, okay, we got a visitor right here. Don't worry, he's okay. I can kill him. Uh, that that web tangled thingy that you know looks like a Dave Mc, uh, looks like a uh, a McFarlane a Todd McFarlane type of webbing accessory that you clip on. It's really practically useless for this uh, for this for the Marvel Universe figures in my opinion. But some people like it. But it's gone because I think that the amount of plastic they used uh, for the vest or for the uh, the cut off sleeveless sweater. But um, so. You know, just uh, little more reasons why you think the to make you believe that you're not really getting your money's worth from Marvel Universe figures. But anyway, here is the packaging, a bit of artwork here, the, the rest of the assortment. He is figure number 14 of Series 3, and it is a uh, Commander Steve Rogers Marvel Universe series. Collect them all. Okay. So, before we begin, Again, the actual figure itself. Here is the Spider-Man Marvel Universe, the original Spider-Man figure. And here is, I know somebody was asking for it, the, uh, okay, let me just stand him up. The, uh, well, this isn't called the Scarlet Spider. It's called the Something Attack Spider-Man. I did a review on this. I just forgot the name. But this is from the Spider-Man toy line, the Spider-Man figure line, uh, figure and toy line. Uh, and obviously it's an homage to the Ben Riley Spider-Man, but they didn't call him a Ben Riley Spider-Man. Okay, uh, someone was asking me, should I get this or this? Depends. If you're collecting strictly the Spider-Man figure from the Sp Spider-Man figure line, then obviously you have to get this. If you're a Marvel Universe collector, get this one. And as you can see, the figure is quite big because, if you notice, technically the figure can be argued as a new figure mold but in my opinion they've only changed the hips and everything and, and the thighs obviously but everything else the knees downwards uh, the arms the chest the head are all recycled bits and pieces here and there the only new thing again as I said are the hips the belt I think and the sweater these I think are from the Black Widow I could be mistaken but that oh the ankle pouches are new I think I tried checking my Deadpool, it's not the same, um, but somebody tell me who those belong to, if it's in fact a recycled piece, that I, probably from a figure I didn't get. So there you go, let's get rid of these two. Um, the figure has some looseness to it, uh, maybe mold degradation, the, for, I mean, the thigh joints are a bit loose. I don't know why. Uh, the knees are quite loose. The elbows are loose. Upper torso is not loose. The head on a ball joint is not loose. So there, it could vary from figure to figure, but on mine, some some joints are loose. Make a summary of the articulation. It's got a ball jointed neck, ball joint upper torso, ball hinge, shoulders, th um, bicep swivel, hinge elbow, swivel wrist. Uh, the new uh, ball hinge ankle, a uh, ball hinge um, hip, thigh swivel, double hinge knees, and a ball hinge ankle. What's really interesting about this new mold is the way 
the new hips can make the the figure look so uh, flexible and, and and you can get him articulated in various uh more realistic spider-man poses like the one i did in the beginning and th that's really because of the new hip joint and and the thigh swivel right here get him in, in these stances you can have him swing i mean just like that I mean, Spider-Man is always something like that, doing with his feet up in the air. So, you know, that's probably one of the best things about this new figure mold, quote unquote new. Uh, but other than that, I, I think the figure is just, might just look ordinary to the casual Marvel Universe collector. And again, as I said, this figure is strictly for the hardcore Spider-Man collector and obviously hardcore Marvel Universe figure. If you're just casually collecting these guys, I suggest save your money for something else that you might be looking for, like a Doctor Strange or the Fantastic Four pack or something like that. And just wait for this one to go on clearance if you absolutely must get it. Otherwise, just pass. They did a good job on the on the uh, sweater. I don't think it's removable. You could force it out, but I'm not going to do it if you wanted to. It, it's a nice, you know, likeness to how he looked like in the comic book. I'm not sure if it's very accurate, but it's pretty accurate to me. And, you know, for somebody who who's not really a big fan of Spider-Man, this figure, you know, to me is, is okay. Um, it was worthy enough to be picked up, but it's not something I would hunt down for it would hunt you know check out 20 stores just to find him he's, he's re i'm sure um this is one of those that's going to be left on the pegs and uh, dr strange scar and dr doom are the ones going to go off even falcon i think so probably the last one to get picked up so don't strain yourself if you're really a big fan of this figure i'm sure you'll have a good chance of getting it so there you go uh my quick review of the spider-man <laughs> Scarlet Spider figure from the Marvel Universe toy line. Uh, pretty interesting. Again, as I said, you know, not really the best figure in the wave, but if you have to get it, uh, get it on regular retail or at clearance price. Now, before I go, that's the end of my review. You can go ahead and skip to another video if you want to. I'd just like to be, make a big shout out to uh, a good friend who I just met on YouTube. His name is Ashrock1982, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 1982. Uh, he, he's, he's one of the YouTube reviewers on Marvel Universe figures. Uh, if you haven't heard about him, check out his videos. I'll put the link of his channel and the, uh, com not the comment section, the description box below this video. Check it out. He just started reviewing uh, this year, I think, May 2011, if I'm not mistaken, or June 2011, because May 2011, he had a collection video up. I don't know if he started in June or May, but the guy is amazing. Um... He's a, he, he's a hardcore Marvel Universe collector, meaning he gets at least two of every figure that's been released by Hasbro. As in, I checked his collection. I checked all, most, all of his videos, in fact. And he's gotten all the figures that, that Marvel Universe, uh, Hasbro has released for the Marvel Universe line that has been released so far. It has appeared in his area or is on eBay or Big Bad Toy Store. He's gotten at least two, one to keep in packaging and the other one to display and he's even got the rare figures like vision archangel uh juggernaut you name it and he's even got multiples of the rare figures can you believe it uh the guy spends a lot on on marvel universe being a hardcore collector and when he reviews the figures it's it's just very objective very honest his opinions are just spot on clear uh, nothing annoying about his reviews. He even has this really unique, uncanny sense of humor that it's not annoying. Uh, he even has some subtitles. It's not like how Vangelis does it, but the, the, his, his, his uh, spontaneous humor just really, really adds a lot of, uh, 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 a lot of uh, spice, I, I should say, to his videos. And he's really a great reviewer. And if you're on the fence about a certain figure... You check out his videos, he'll really, really uh, uh, make you lean on one side, uh, whether to get the figure or not. Uh, I think he does a better review. De I definitely think he does a better review of figures uh, than I do. 
uh, he doesn't pose his figures that well, though. Sorry, man. But uh, <laughs> he's, he's great. Um, and, and he will really, really help you decide on whether to get a figure or not. So his name is Ash Rock. Uh, he lives in the Chicago area. Uh, sorry, man. I'm saying too many details. But, uh, you know, before this thing gets any more gay than it is, uh, there's nothing wrong with that, though. But, you know, check out his videos and, and decide for yourself. I've... I've checked his video, all his videos, because he asked me to, uh, <laughs> and uh, instantly he got a subscription from me. I n most of you know I never subscribe to anybody th that quickly. I, I hardly subscribe to a, to a YouTube reviewer. My bad. Sorry, folks. I, I just really very picky with my subscriptions. And uh, to him, got my subscription immediately. And that's how great he is, I think. And and it, if, if again, as I said, if you're if if you haven't found uh, if you're if you found a lot of figures on in the market and you haven't decided where to get them or not, check out his videos. And chances are um, he might have some of them. He's just started. I mean, he's he's up to about 200 subscribers. Uh, been doing it since May, so that's about three months, two three months. And in my opinion, I think you know in the next three months he'll be up to a thousand, maybe two thousand at the end of the year. He's that good. Is that and he's pretty funny. So anyway, that's about that's my small shameless plug of a uh, fellow YouTube reviewer who's really done an awesome job. He's not div giving me anything for this. Uh, I'm not getting anything from him by by doing this. I'm just very, you know, uh, I just like his videos, and I think a lot of people deserve to find out uh, how great his videos are because uh, he really does well, uh, does them very well, you know. And speaking of which, I. Darn wish he would give me one of his archangels or one of his visions. He's got loads. I mean, come on, man. No, no, I'm just teasing. Anyway, so there is Ashrock1982. The guy's amazing. Check him out. So, there you go, folks. Uh, quick shout out to good buddy on YouTube and the Scarlet Spider. Thanks for watching.